Trigon Space Story is a, well, it's an FTL-like. <laughs> it is an FTL-like that is put out by Semir Tech, which is a one-game development studio, also published by them. Uh, and the release date for it is going to be uh, announced more accurately by the end of July. According to the developer, I went through the forums, tried to dig up some more information, uh, and he says, even though it says quarter two, 2021, and I was like, quarter two, 2021 is pretty much like uh, done. <laughs> and he says, yeah, well, there's a whole lot of stuff going on, and I was not aware that it was this hard to release a game. So more details to come at the end of July. Um, now, I did go through I did the tutorial. Uh, it is very much like FTL, so I'm excited to get in and actually play the game part itself. Um, and it's, it's, I mean, it's just like, you know, a very, very pretty and updated version. Like, this could actually be FTL 2 from what I've seen in the tutorial and the trailers and everything. Now, you should keep in mind that FTL came out uh, September 2012. Right? So a long time ago, uh, the developers of FTL had every opportunity to make a sequel, and they haven't. So I'm not going to fault anybody for making, for bringing that back to us and giving us a look, uh, or letting us get back into that uh, gameplay style uh, with all of the bells and whistles, and all the modern bells and whistles. So here we have two different ships. We have the Human Explorer, we have the Atari uh, Cruiser. Uh, this is the one that you give you in the uh, tutorial, so I'm actually going to skip this one, go straight to this one. You do have a, you have staff that you have to manage, and they have their own uh, perks and everything. Uh, almost everything here is like one-to-one -one, uh, FTL, but I'm going to go through everything, well, most everything here, just to kind of give you guys a refresher, because I know it's been a long time. 2012, man, nine years ago. That was, uh, that was actually before Declan was born. <laughs> I remember, I mean, actually, it was funny, was that it was actually out well before that because we were all playing the beta. We were playing the beta. I was playing the iPad version around the time Declan was born. <laughs> Jeez. So anyways, uh, you got weapons, uh, different weapons for each one. You have subsystems that you have to manage as well, as you'd expect. Uh, hyperdrive, oxygen generator, shield generator, armory module, med bay, uh, captain bridge, and then door system. So I mean, these are all very familiar things uh, if you, you know, play that other game. Um, Sensors allows you to examine all your modules as well as give information on uh, about the enemy ship, uh, which is actually pretty handy. Hmm. Well, we'll see. Well, maybe this will be more challenging. We'll see what happens. Uh, the, uh, I mean, graphically, let me look. This is on Ultra. On my trusty, dusty 980 Ti. After checking off another vent Venator, Venator patrol, you are trying to understand what's going on. The local communication hub makes it clear that a bounty is put on your head. Okay. Quest received. Something happened. Got it. Something happened. All right. So okay. So I can't see inside of each one of my uh, each one of my rooms unless I have the sensors. Ooh, interesting. All right. So we could jump with this right here, but I'm going to kind of familiarize my, familiarize myself with this. This guy is the pilot here, so this person cannot die. Um, we click on it. We can get a little more information. I think up here to attack melee. They they eat food. <laughs> Speed description. Attack melee. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little rusty. A little rough around the edges, rather. Uh, we have some food. We have some uh, fuel, I believe. Let's see right here. It says, yeah, yeah, fuel. So, plutonium uh, or whatever it runs off of. We got some currency. Uh, and then, she, does that tell you? If fuel allows you to make hyperloops. Okay, uh, all the way on the left there. Um, now, to, uh, to, to, to move power around, it's as simple as just right-clicking, left-clicking. So, there you go. Shields are down. Shields are up. Med bay down. Oxygen down. You can see the room starting to turn red. <gasps> We're gonna turn it back on. <laughs> Med bay. We we'll turn that back on too. Uh, and but you cannot take power from over here, which I believe the subsystems also uh, in FTL were kind of the same way. Like once they were dedicated, and that was it. They're dedicated. Uh, I do have some power left over. Where's my leftover power? Yeah, right here. So we have a handful of bars right here at the bottom. Um, so I have enough to get one weapon online. So we want to have our weapon on and charging. See right here, it's charging. Bing. There we go. Little boop, 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 sound. So we're gonna go ahead and move to the next area. We have, and we can move in all kinds of directions here. So let's go ahead and just go to the next one over. This one right here, Cade, and see what awaits us on the other side. A local colony witnessed a murder. As an interrogator, you are asked to investigate the case and catch the criminal in exchange for their financial assistance on your journey. Investigate the murder. Refuse to investigate the murder. Sure. You're trying to detain the murdered. Uh, the murdered. But he, oh, the murderer. But he begins hunting you back. <clears throat> you narrowly escape death 
but can't be uh, but, but what can't be said uh, about your crew member of yours he died defending you oh my god are you serious what <laughs> oh there he goes uh, he's just dead and they actually die in here man so what do I can I, can I, can I leave the body there <laughs> can I right click on this let's go move this guy over here let's see what happens Okay, no. Nope. Well, we can't fly anywhere without the pilot, so... Boy, this is gonna be a fun... Fun run. <laughs> okay, you just will just drop the body off at the next depot or something. I'm not sure. Alright, let's go ahead and go next spot. Alcade. A very, very epic, huge soundtrack. Big, big, big pads. Big, epic pads. Uh, let's see. Upon your arrival at the system, you were contacted by a local colony of miners. It looks quite poor and abandoned. Let's see. Thank God someone didn't turn a deaf ear to our calls. Sir Captain, we are constantly attacked by Tertikon's uh, pirate fleet that plunders our settlements. We can't count on new rain to protect us. And Venators don't care about us. We beg you, please help us. Arrange a surprise attack on Tertikon. There you go. Hook up just the old system of planet defense. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, the music does not loop very well, by the way. It was, that was a little annoying for me. <laughs> the, yeah, it was, it was, the songs are very big and they're very epic, uh, but they don't loop at all, um, which was kind of disappointing. I, I, hopefully that's something that they kind of like iron out because it feels like they took these songs from like a, a cache of a bunch of, you know, maybe royalty free tracks or whatever. And they're just like, yeah, we'll just make this fit in our game. Um, yeah, looping music, dynamic music, all that stuff, like it needs to happen needs to happen needs you need you need that in today in current year all right so let's go ahead and move on i don't even know what happened there let's move on I'm trying to get into a fight man that's where that's what we're all here for this is my threat every time you move your threat goes up this is very similar to the rebel the rebel base or whatever the rebels chasing you down let's see at the nearby casino station which you actually intended to fly over to escape problems uh they are asking for help they offer decent money for your service so you turn your back to fly closer I see. Nickname Groupier. Groupier? Groupier. Uh, welcome to you. A nearby branch casino needs a new stock of issued gambling chips. We have delivery requests. Agree to deliver the chips? Sure. Rob the casino and fly. Biatch! Attack our get hostile act. Uh, prepare, to, prepare for dis disintegration. Oh, what do I just leave? <laughs> what is it? Just fuck off. I'm out of here. Cool little space station over here. Ah, I welcome you refugees. Are you fleeing from Venators? So are we. Yeah, we also just robbed a station here. Uh, this community is looking for a world which will gladly welcome us. Meanwhile, let's enjoy trade. Oh, where's my trade? Oh, there's the bottom. Oh, cool. Nice. I haven't really earned any money because I haven't really done anything. So let's just go ahead and get me a bit more power. Cargo holds. It's got to get more weapons or more power. One of the two. What do I have? 454. Let me just put it all on the hyperdrive. Recharge, evasion, 11%. Nah, let's put one more point here. There we go. Accept. Oh, well, hold on. There's more. Market. Oh, man. I got to feed these dudes, too. Supplies. What is it? Uh, it's 20, I have 27 out of 100. It costs a handful for each jump. So, I'm going to go and grab... What is that? Like 15 more? 15? Yeah, that works. Go to the bar. What do we have here? We can hire some people. I should probably do this, but I can't afford that. So we're just, we're going solo, man. Except there we go. Minus 300. Hold on. We got to Did we already purchase this? Ah, okay. Automatic. Okay. So it doesn't put in a, in a shopping cart or anything like that. Can I rob her? She's got a lot of money. <laughs> just going to be a fucking pirate. It's going to be great. Bar. Let me see. Market. Hospital. Police. What do do the police? Nothing. It doesn't do anything. Okay, cool. So, how do we leave? <laughs> Let's click out here. Out here? Out here? Out here? Here? Ship management? Nope. Oh, this is fries. Look, it's fries. Shit, fries still standing. Oh, back down here in the corner. <laughs> the back button. That's what it was. I was in escape and everything, man. Okay, here we go. Next area. What is this supposed to be? Well, there's something on the outside of it, so I'm guessing it's going to be an encounter of some sort. 28. Well, it's just one of me, so I don't have to worry about food. I should have bought fuel, if anything. 
Uh, you're caught by a local colony that looks like a poor a band. Okay, so let's see. Arrange surprise attack. Let's, uh, yeah, let's just, uh, you guys could do that. You just didn't, okay. A couple minutes later, it starts working. To your surprise, you decide to take the reward and leave the colony. Sully, oh, on the orbit, uh, you are attacked by the ver that very system you've just adjusted. Uh, it seems it is attacking everything without distinction, so you rush away as quickly as possible. So I took some hull. Wow, 60 hull damage? From 300? I got 118 bucks for that? Jesus. Now that your class greets you, the new reign considers you to be a threat. Get ready to fight, Captain. Here we go. Finally an attack. Oh, this is the way it works on, uh, <laughs> with FTL too. You can go through a whole bunch of jumps and nothing happens. All right, so here we go. So we'll pause real quick because they're charging up. Um, all right, so we're going to put automatic fire. We're just going to focus on one single building. Just hope we get some, some, uh, let me see. So we have right here in the upper left corner of each one of these rooms, you can see what their what their designators are. So we can fry the oxygen. We have to get through 20, 20 shields, by the way. And I do uh, 10, 10, 15, 10. So we can get through the shields, get a couple shots off. But the shields will regen. So do we attack the shields first? Do we attack? Uh, let's let's uh, let's attack the shields first. See if we can keep that down. Okay. So we made it. We made uh, a hit. A hit and it's automatic so it's gonna keep on going their shields are coming back up come on quickly 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 plasma cutter oh the misses the, the misses are brutal <laughs> yeah. here let's get over here just to get this thing up and running more quickly we're not gonna have any evasion but you know it's fine hopefully this actually helps Woo! don't die don't die you gotta be kidding me He's gonna die. <laughs> wow, man, it is just like FTL. <laughs> it is exact. We're just doing another one. That, that's exact. Let's take the human. We have more people. We could suffer more losses. What on earth? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something happened. That's my quest. Something happened. Shut up. Okay. Let's see. Let's get our shields up. We have someone on on guns. Uh, guns. Guns, 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 guns. Oh, I don't have a... Let me see, is it an automated system? Oh, I have to power it up first, maybe? Oh, dang it. Okay, well, let's just go to the next area. Well, no, no, let's go back. Back. There we go. Ah, so then it highlights. Okay, cool. So I want somebody on that... What is this room? A oh, hyperdrive. Oh, hyperdrive? Eh, I'm not jumping anywhere anytime soon. Alright, so next area... Yeah, boy, definitely has the charm of FTL. Hey, your first combat scenario. Guess what? You did. Uh, okay, so we're running into the same thing here. Hopefully, we'll get some more. It'll be basically the same thing. Help with just plant plant defense. Let's see, you try to call this one. Okay, luckily, you still have needed skills. Quickly ensure ready for action. The miners, thank you. Okay, cool. And we got some. Oh, what is this? A twin plasma turret. Oh, we got a turret. Okay, let's go up here. Ship. And then here we go. See, now we can show you this stuff too. In the cargo hold, we have this. We're going to take this and drag it here. This is going to be on our third slot. Let me see. How much power does it take? Hold damage. The reload time number of shots. Energy card of one. One and two. Okay. So I can uh, put one more power into this. Take one power out of something else. Like what? Maybe a hyperdrive to slow that down a little bit. Um, but we'll see when we get into you know a combat scenario if we need to do that. But in our next stop, we should definitely buy some power so we can have a more robust arsenal. Look at this map. Look at this map. I didn't even show you guys this. This is pretty impressive. I didn't even know about this, actually. <laughs> this is impressive. What's over here? Let's go that way. Why don't I click over here? Will it just start going that way? Okay, I was just curious. Okay, let's see. So it's boop, boop. Mm -hmm. So we'll go to here. I'll, I'll attack. No, cannot. Okay, you have to go. It sure does like to move very fast. Okay, we'll go in here, I guess. I guess. That's where I'm at. Son of a bitch. Well, what the hell? Oh, I can't go. Oh, I see. I see. You have to go here to here to here. Boy, that's a lot of jumps. Okay. We're just going to zoom right over to that. Uh, they witnessed the murder. So investigate the murder. Let's sure. You detained the criminal while the trail is still hot. It's unclear what he committed the murder, but the main thing is that you succeeded the job. Okay, cool. Credits. Bam. We, so, so far we've had two things to do. We've had to defend a planet and we've had to help solve a murder. <laughs> the game needs more. <laughs> it definitely needs more. Let me see. Is there another one of those red pillar things over here? No, there's not. Okay, so we've got like one stop here and then boop, boop, boop. One, two, three. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is uh, this is uh, environmental warning, I think. Uh, you find yourself right on the battlefield. 
had been long uh, it had been over long before you were born though you are in a memorial system you see the old ships of the federation and the ones of the adversary party the insurgents the venators carefully preserve the history you are trying to remember how the federation won but then your engines finally get charged and your mind gets blank before the leap okay do you hear that loop in the music mm, 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 mm. no 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 bad I don't know what these uh, indicators mean necessarily. I mean, they show up after we inspect or get close. This one right here has a separate, so there's a ship there for sure. I guess maybe there's a chance for a ship there because of the encounter. Um, and so the encounter, we're able to avoid that. Sensors will probably increase that, uh, uh, the data that we get from others. Here we go. When you pass another human system in a row, you get contacted by one of the ships. Sorry, just like, yeah, they the, the definitely try to use like Babel Fitch or something to translate some of these things. They ask you to help them translate, speaking of, some ancient Itari books. As an investigating oracle, you must always support affinity for beauty. That's why you agree to help with the translation. Hmm, yes. Translate the books, translate a part of the books. Oh, this is translate the books, dude. Don't be lazy. You are lucky. You read the book when you were a child. It's about a great warrior. Okay, you just thank you and send your reward. Okay, cool. Uh, and we get uh, some unit morale. Cool, cool. That's always good. A little booster for these guys. That's right. They have morale. I haven't seen that in play yet, but they do have morale. Um, again, I have no idea what that does uh, yet. <laughs> it was it was briefly covered in the tutorial. I figured we just we would just figure it out on the fly. It's not a critical part of gameplay out like you know compared to like you know the hull and the shields and the weapons uh but it probably comes in handy later when you're when you're trying to achieve certain things in story context uh you're offered a job the Corey system this parcel doesn't look very large and the delivery address is not far away learn the terms of delivery good day sakai uh we ask you to deliver this box with the ashes of the mayor of our calling to his homeland will you cope with the task your ship looks just right for this mission Sure. Or attack the colony. Oh, this is okay. Sure, we'll do it. We'll you up. At first, I believed you would turn on the job as a typical vermin. <laughs> it's good that you are different. Have a nice flight. So I got a parcel, and I also got oh the item underscore remains. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now we're finally making it. Okay, I can't use the waz. Waz moves way too quickly. We'll just click and drag. All right, here we go. Electra. This looks crazy. It's probably one of those environmental hazard things. Your shields are slowly taking damage. Oh, this is ice. While approaching the asteroid belt, it becomes clear that there's something wrong. The stations are silent. No ships in view. You notice the strange emissions on your radars that come from a waste recycling module. Where is everyone? I need to find Ronnie in this, uh, in this mess. ASAT. Some of the crew members look around. Sometime later, he reports that the station was assaulted by... St <laughs> I don't know why I saw this as teenagers. By teenagers! Oh, because of Terracotarons. Uh, many sentient, cre sentient creatures uh, were killed. Terracons were destroyed. Strange symbols in the words Trigon on the walls scary him soon he comes across a tartacon in the recycle module recycling module without any evidence of damage and takes it to the ship okay i'm not quite following what's happening here um but we brought a item underscore tartacon body underscore description we brought one of those with us so oh that's where it turned out to be a slaughterhouse the answers uh, are hidden inside lucky ticket according to the signs of his body it's number its number is two one da, 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 and it's hard to turn it on half of its brains got burnt you need to find someone who will restart. Okay, cool. Den, sweet den. All right, we got a mission. So we're across the Venator. His ship is ready to fight, and it seems you can't escape it. Oh, boy. Now your class greets you. Okay. We're going to pause right there. Let's go ahead and pull down these. We're not going to be able to escape. We'll pull off the hyperdrive. We'll put one more in here. Going to get these uh, Thunderbolt rocket launchers ready to go. Actually, let's go and swap the rocket launchers for the turrets. Because I'm going to have a bitch of a time, I think, getting through those turrets. Get through that shield. Uh oh, can I not? Uh oh, I can't. I can, oh, I can't set it up in in combat, bro. What is ripple fire? What does that do? Well, let's find out. Okay, sensors allow us to see all the rooms. Let's go ahead and work on this ripple fire. Is that like missing? Is that just like? Is that just you just miss? <laughs> oh, my shields are down. Okay, that got their shields down, but, you know, um, we should have this thing going this whole time. Dang it. Okay, let's just have this thing just continue to work on that. And then, as soon as this is ready. My shields. I have someone on the pilot there. Who's on shields? I have Hans on shields. Okay, cool. Can I change the name of the characters? 
does not look like it. Well, maybe not in this view because we're in combat view, so. Shields down. Ouch. Some serious damage right there. Come on, make the shots. Good, 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 good. Then. Oh, gosh, not ready. Get in there before the shields come up. Bam! There we go. Keep that going. Hull still. No damage. Oh, just took 10 damage on the hull. This guy mopping the floor. You're done. You're done. Yeah, shields gotta come up. We're gonna wait for this next blast. Next barrage. There we go. Okay, just a couple more hits. And that's it. You'll be alright. Fix it up, Ariel. That's it. Bam! Minus damage. So much. Okay. Oh, we got some stuff here. Money, uh, some scrap, and our bounty, our local bounty increase. And what is this thing? Buff bomb. Crew damage. Okay, small pain inflicting presence that uh, does a little damage to the systems and the enemy crew. Well, that sounds pretty useless. <laughs> it does little damage to the systems and the enemy crew. <laughs> it's more of an annoyance thing. All right, let's go and move this, shuffle that over there. We can twin plasma turret there. All right, cool. Here we go. So we can click on these guys. Uh, Hans. Okay, so we cannot rename them. Let me see. We should go through this, though. They show this in the tutorial. So this is, yeah, obviously all of your basic stats and everything. Shows you what they do and everything. Attack range, all that good stuff. Morale, uh, which there's no tooltip for it. So you just want morale high. <laughs> uh, let's see. Devotedness, uh, paranoia, scatterbrain. So these things, this is where it says when he forgets to take the prescribed pills, he suspects each and every uh, everyone being basically, yeah, his, his paranoia goes up and it actually brings down the loyalty and the uh, morale of the rest of the crew if he starts getting too paranoid. Uh, it's an engineer, shield operator. These are proficiencies that they get whenever they, um, you know, whenever they work a certain area of the ship for long enough. This is identical to uh, FTL. Um, and we see uh, we got some health issues here. Relations, Hans, Ariel. Oh, so Hans, Ari relations, Hans, Sarah. Oh, okay, okay. So we got some stuff going on. So Hans is with Hans, boy. Okay, all right. I don't know what it's gonna do about morale, but boy, Hans, get you some. All right, let's see. So power, all that good stuff. Let's see if we can find a shop. We could buy some more energy. So we can just have everything running at full. All right. And then we'll, uh, oh, no, no, no. Turn, well, we want weapons on and primed, actually. Always, all time. There we go. This as well. Um, well, actually, not so much this. All right, cool. Let's move to the next sector. Oh, we're doing so much better this time. <laughs> we're doing so good. <laughs> Just immediately get just a wallop in the last one. This will be a long ass episode, huh? I'm sure, whatever. Now, upon your arrival the system, you're contacted by a local colony. My looks quite poor in a band. Okay, this is this shit again. Uh, oh, yeah, do it yourself. Let me see. You rush away as quickly as possible. It seems to attack everything without distinction. Yet we did that already. 60 hull damage. <sighs> I should just do the fight. I should just do the fight because that's the automatic 60 damage. That's some BS. BS. Can I jump over here? Okay. So make sure I can't like jump to other sectors I've already visited. Ooh, what is that crazy ship in the background? Upon arriving in the system with gates, you recognize the colors and decals of the ship guarding the gates. There can't be any mistake. It's a peacemaker, one of the federal diplomatic cruisers. Despite its name, the ship was mostly engaged in espionage and undesired aims annihilation rather than diplomatic missions. It was among the first ships that joined the colors of the new reign, and they are definitely waiting for you. Ooh. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, music. Okay. So let's take a look at their ship. I see O2, I see shields, I see all that good stuff. They only have 20 shields. Um, and they have 180 hull. Uh, so their ship is actually bought on par with mine. So this might be a pretty good fight depending on what they have. Um, what they actually have uh, locked and loaded here. They just, they're already firing off shots. So we're going to take some damage to our shields right here on the top. A little bit of damage. Already recovering. Okay, they already have another. Some plasma bowls of some sort. It's probably going to hurt. Yes, it is. No hull damage yet. These weapons are good to go. I'm waiting for this to come online. I want to blast through this thing. I don't want to miss. I'm stalling. I'm stalling. I'm stalling. Okay, laser beam. Okay. We're online. We're online here. Good. Both of them. Just blow up the damn shield, please. There you go. I just barely made it through that shield. Unbelievable. Just keep going. Just keep going. Oh, what happened? 
Oh, power. We lost power. <gasps> Crap. Oh, this is why. This is why. <sighs> FTL so hard. <laughs> because you end up focusing, hyper-focusing over here. Meanwhile, you're getting your ass kicked over here. Uh, all right. So, bad things are happening. Um, let me see. What is the damage at? So, this is being fixed. This is broken. This is broken. Hmm. If I move the pilot, we probably won't have any more. Yeah, plus four. It's only five plus five percent evasion. Okay, cool. So she could go back here and try to save some stuff. Um. Can't have put two in a single room. Maybe I should have her repair some shit. Get her over here. I don't want to die. She says, "Our laser beams are going about as fast as we can. And we have no power. So let's um. We're not gonna jump. Are we gonna jump? We're not gonna jump. Let's not. Let's not. Let's not jump." We need our shields up. We can't take power from over here. Oh, man. We're in a bad way. Bad way. What is this room? What is this room? <laughs> uh, is that the door room? Oh, it's a door room. I don't care about that. <laughs> Who cares about the door room? Okay, now we have no, we have no oxygen. Uh, we're at no power. It's not looking good. Uh, man. You can take power away from this. No. Okay. It's being repaired. The weapon's being repaired as best we can here. I'm guessing they're going to start taking hits. Yeah, so that's so why I was trying to repair this. And then, uh, fuck the doors. The oxygen room is taking some hits. Oh, it's fine. Oxygen room's fine. Okay, that's going to hurt. Dang it. This needs to stay online. Get two people in there. Does that make it? Yeah, there you go. I'm too drunk for this shit, he says. We can still make this happen. We can still work. Work this out. Okay, maybe we should just shoot the damn guns. We're not gonna get those shields down. Okay, you do something else. <clears throat> like, go give us some evasion, I guess. So this is- that- that pulse basically deactivates a room for a short period of time. I'm gonna die. <laughs> and- and like I said, it's just- this is just like just like FTL. This is stunned. The room is stunned. I can't even fight back. Shields are online, but you know, what are they going to do? <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? Is there, where's their button I can push? Damn, these guys have schooled me so hard. Nope, there it is. There it is. Wow, man. Just like FTL. <laughs> oh, you lose. The mystery of Trigon hasn't been uncovered yet. Your captain is dead. All right. So that's where we're going to stop. All right. I mean, you know, I would love to do a full run through. I don't know how far you could go on this, but I would love to do a full run through all the way down to the rebel, the rebel base, the rebel ship and take it down on my first try. But it's not happening. <laughs> that's not happening today. Uh, in terms of, I mean, okay, so... Yeah, it's it's definitely FTL re kind of reimagined, inspired by it, whatever. Um, uh, FTL 1.0 or one uh, it was essentially made and it did really well, and people were screaming for more. And they just never did anything. So you know what? Like that's on them. You know, Trigon comes out and if they clean this game up, and it needs a lot of cleaning. It's pretty rough around the edges. Like there's a lot of grammatical errors all over the place. Um, the music needs some work. The music, yeah, the music is epic, and I love that part of it. But I don't like the fact that it doesn't. It never settles down. Uh, I was playing it last night, and you know the 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 music was just loud the whole time. It was just blah, epic, epic, blah, blah, blah. And it's like you know this is the kind of game that take hours to play, right? You take actual hours to play a single playthrough. And I don't know if I want to have my ears blasted with just like a wall of beautiful lush pads. I love it. I love the sound. It's just too much happening all the time. FTO was great because it had a very minimalistic soundtrack. Uh, ben Prunes, he really, really nailed that, that sound for them. I'm not saying go that route. I'm saying look at games like No Man's Sky with 65 seconds of static. Like, or days of static. 65 days, whatever, static. Uh, <laughs> like that soundtrack has a lot of dynamics to it. There's a lot of epic moments. There's there's a lot of low moments, kind of like just kind of chilling, right? When I'm chilling, where there's no enemies around in a sector, I don't want to hear <laughs> And then like a hard cuts and then plays the MP3 again. It's like it's just hitting the back button on the player, MP3 player, like that. Ah. So like, there's a lot of rough edges that need to be smoothed out. But I mean like aesthetically beautiful, absolutely beautiful um, and lots of potential here.
Uh, in terms of a release date, like I said, we're going to wait to the end of July for us to get some real numbers according to the developers. So we'll see what happens. It seems like it's a very small development team. So, you know, there's a lot on this person's... Uh, uh, this person's plate, or maybe, maybe a handful of people's plates, um, to, to get a game like this out, and, you know, really, really fill some pretty big shoes, like some big, big, big shoes. So, that's it. My name is Mike BAK Phony. This is Trigon. You can check it out. The demo is still available after, uh, after the, uh, Steam Next Fest, so, if it's there, great. If not, well, have a good one. Bye. <laughs>